Welcome back to the Booze and the Bees. Thanks for watching. We're bees. And booze. Bzz. And have. <laughs> Dude, that was it. That's I, the episode. I was gonna. I didn't know. Boobies. Okay, there we go. Oh my god, there it is. <laughs> it's got all those things. All these things and yeah. more. So, buckle in. Buckle. Buckle up. The bees. It gets crazy. To the booze. Buckle up. Buckle up. Nice. Can we sell belt buckles? <laughs> Please. <laughs> <laughs> we should that'd be funny that's like unique that's I don't see different people selling like belt buckles to begin with so maybe that's not a good sign <laughs> if nobody's nobody doing is it. selling it so it's got to be a money maker yeah everyone who knows things about we'll make money. them cool again we'll bring back stuff well we're bringing back belt buckles <laughs> well <laughs> we're inventing the buckle i wonder what could be different about it yeah. what are even I don't even know if I've ever like owned a belt buckle. I don't, I don't Is know that like for. those big things in the middle of your belt that just like look cool? Yeah. Like usually on cowboys. On cowboys. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, it's the actual buckle part. So now all belts have a buckle. They're just small and simple. They used to be big and complicated. Oh, that's what I was like. Because the, the buckle, geez, buckle, buckle, who? The buckle's not the thing that like ties it together right it is that thing oh you were saying some don't have that no they all have that but oh, they're oh, not oh. complicated what, i got confused oh okay yeah they're just like simple mm. they used to be really big and complicated oh looking I mean, they were simple still makes sense yeah back in the day we didn't really know what we were doing we still don't know what we're doing nah that's part of my video today because i was having like I guess not a kind of anxiety a little bit, but just kind of my brain was just like, I feel like when something good starts happening, you you want to you want to try to um what's the word I'm thinking? Compromise. You want to like, you want to try to sabotage yourself. There mm. you go, sabotage. And so it's kind of like a little self sabotage going on when my brain's like nothing's nothing's going right. Like just do nothing today and like be be down and negative and and like don't don't make videos and stuff. It was just like a weird start to my morning. And at first I was like gonna just accept it and be like, oh maybe I need an off day. Mm -hmm. But then now I'm like, no, I don't want an off day. Like I want to be productive. I want to yeah. keep going. And I don't know if it's this weird like universe trying to hold me down kind of thing but i was yeah. go ahead i think a lot of people <laughs> do that where they see things are going well and they're like this isn't normal my life's terrible so i need to go back to normal because it's not as scary because when you start to change it becomes like a scary thing mm -hmm. and life needs to change and especially if you picture your life in five ten years and you want it to be different well then obviously things need to change it's a must so it is getting those emotions and those feelings of like fear and anxiety and discomfort and saying everything isn't working but it is it is working yeah yeah and i had to remind myself that well, like nobody really knows what they're doing yep so like i'm human i'm not superhuman i'm not supposed to just be like I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I think you just hold the highest expectations for yourself. Maybe. Mm -hmm. And also most people just are more concerned with themselves. I mean, look at how ridiculous I am every day. It's just to show people you can still do it. You don't have to be, there's no perfect time. You don't have to be, I'm finally ready. I finally look good. I finally. Oh yeah. I, I record. I, I haven't gotten ready yet. And I've already recorded like mm -hmm. four videos <laughs> to put on social media. And, yeah. and I've had a comment once where someone was like, can't believe you would post yourself like this. Like, but professionals could see you. And I'm like. Professionals what? don't get one and a half million views a month like I do, lady. So maybe I know a little bit more about it. Than I'm also do. like, well, who who am I trying to impress? I'm, I'm just talking to the people. I got to yeah. dress up for y'all all the time. No. And that doesn't even make sense because the target <laughs> audience is for us is people who kind of want to improve themselves but don't think they're good enough and especially with the positive image on social media now where everyone has surgery everyone's on 
performance enhancing drugs. Everybody is like, it's the only the top 1% of people get seen ever. So you compare your physique to theirs or whatever it is you're comparing or their fashion sense or their cars. It's like, no, all these people are normal. Some of them are luckier than others. Some of them work harder and they only show the best part of themselves. Like you're allowed to have a normal life, not to be anxious. You're allowed to not get ready some mornings and still be productive. Your life will still be better than what it currently is. Like you don't have to go from not being good to being the best. You can be from not being good to a little better and just compare yourself to you and then compare yourself to us and be like, man, that guy doesn't even do his hair and she doesn't even get ready. And she shows people things. I'm better than that. Good. Use that energy and go improve yourself. Today. Yeah. I like that. I like that. Cause I got, I get, I was getting a lot of, strange comments recently because like when a video goes viral it, you get you get all kinds of people in your comment section and i forget that people only perceive what's around them normally and then obviously what's on their phone but like i had a lot of people commenting saying like something's off about me and like how i talk people were trying to say i'm autistic people were trying to say like i'm on something and i was just like whoa all this over analytics i'm literally just talking and someone was like, this sounds scripted and stuff. Like, I, it was strange reading that kind of stuff about you <laughs> when you're just like, people are just watching this little quick video of me talking about um, budgeting and stuff. And it was just like, it was weird. It's a strange feeling. But like, people are just, people are all, everyone's got their own per perception of life, right? Mm. So everybody, like, if you're a little bit different than people around, people that they're used to, I guess. I don't think of myself as that different. I don't yeah. know what it was that, how I was acting to make people comment on that. Not most people, a lot of people were also like, what do y'all talk about? She's literally normal. So <laughs> who knows, maybe it's like a troll thing. But There's also, whenever anyone puts themselves out on the internet, they've opened themselves up to criticisms that are just above and beyond what most normal people experience. Mm -hmm. And that just comes with it. Uh, at the same time, there's a lot of people on the internet that are not at the stage of their life to look inwards and actually make life improvements. And mm -hmm. it's easier to judge somebody else's life than it is to tackle your own demons. Yeah. And that's fine because everyone kind of goes through that hero's journey at some point where maybe they're just getting too sucked into it and they think, okay, if I trash this person for not being normal, it's going to make me seem more normal. And yeah, that, that yeah, because that kind of relates to when, remember we were talking about how there was a girl commenting on my video saying um, like if, if she didn't get a gift uh, for her birthday by someone like, you know, basically like dogging me for not getting you a, an actual materialistic gift. And so I replied to her comment with a video and she was like, oh, I'm just materialistic and like my love language is gift giving and, and yada, yada, yada. And so it's kind of like she was like putting she was trying to put me down to make like herself feel normal it's mm -hmm. just kind of like what you were saying yeah exactly and especially everyone's relationship different if your partner likes all those gifts cool then you did good but mm -hmm. i don't i'd rather your bills be paid and then we had a dinner and i love to cook it's my favorite thing to do and so you got me the best gift there couldn't have been a better one and right. you know that's or, just the thing and to, like you said like people are so into themselves that that's, they just try to compare everyone to how they yeah. view life, which is different for everybody. So it's it mm -hmm. really is trying to get over that, oh, I'm the center of the universe thing. But like you could be the center of your own universe. That's fine. Yeah. But like putting other people down for it is just a whole different thing. It's yeah. A whole different. And that's, topic, that's just the but. thing when you're on the Internet, you can say, well, I see you're just at a different part of your journey than mm -hmm. mine. And mm -hmm. if you're going to be dogging people. I don't appreciate it, but I'm also not going to say that that part of your journey isn't going to come back in a way that teaches you a really valuable lesson. Yeah. So it's like if we want to try to think of the positives, it's that maybe they did take that, go home in two, three years and just say, man, I was dogging on all these people because not just you. I know. Yeah. For so long and my life is still in shambles. Mm -hmm. Maybe I should make a change and maybe they remember you and and that's something that they can. And maybe I could always say to. something that helps them. And that's why I do reply to comments like that sometimes, because when those videos are trending stuff and they're getting thousands of views, there's thousands of people seeing those comments. And like if I don't reply, they're they're taking it their own way. And, and even though I can take all these negative comments and they don't mean anything to me, someone else could read them and be like, dang, like 
you know, this is why, like, I couldn't do this or, like, this is why I couldn't put myself out there or, or like, whatever. But, um, shoot, I forgot where I was going with my ramble. Then you just basically try to help defend people. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, it's it's funny trying to, like, defend yourself being like, no, this is just, like, what I like and that's okay. Like, we all don't have to be the same. Mm-hmm. It's a strange argument to have with people. And I don't really want to say argument, but th- I don't know. This conversation's helping me a lot because sometimes, like, all the all these negative comments can get to you. And I've been having a lot of videos go trending lately, which is awesome. But it does attract that a lot more. And mm-hmm. It can definitely put you down a little bit. So sometimes I just take breaks. I'm like, oh, no, I'm just looking at comments too much. Or I'll only check comments on a page I know I'm only going to get positive comments on. Like my Jazzy page is always usually positive comments. So, um and that's just but, another way to find like little coping techniques as well to mm-hmm. make sure you keep going. Because everyone has different coping techniques. There's some people who, I mean, look at David Goggins for the people who don't know him. He's always like this, stay hard, be hard, be strong, and just runs forever and endures a tremendous amount of pain and then kind of yells at himself to get himself going. That's his way of motivation. Some people need their little tea in cat pillow in the morning right (laughs) everyone's got their own thing that keeps them going and Mm -hmm. motivated and then there's the destructive side that everybody has right and the the dog the goggins way is attack the the part of you that makes you not want to fight and some is nurture the part of you that makes you want to keep going and so you're nurturing the part of you that wants to keep going by checking those positive comments saying okay i am doing good i am helping some people and as long as I'm helping some people, I can move forward. Alex Hormozzi actually had this one thing that he said that I really loved. And it was whenever he got 15 views on a YouTube video, which he did for many years, he would look at it and be like, well, what if I was in a boardroom with 15 people? That's actually a really good day at my gym to get 15 people to come in and listen to me. Like that's actually a lot of people. When you're comparing nice. yourself to Mr. Beast, it's really hard, but you're like, man, a boardroom of 15 today? That's awesome. Yeah. And it only took me two hours to do an edit. And so that was a really good day for me. And then that kind of positive reinforcement allowed him to continue. Okay. Nice. I that kind of transitioned into this video that I wanted to have us listen to. Uh we don't have to like actually show it, but um, I really liked the message behind it and it's really quick. So Mm, yeah, let's play it and uh, do a screen recording and we'll actually throw it up. Okay. One second, please. Cause it's going is it's funny how perfectly it, it went with what we're talking about and stuff, but just give me two seconds because I have to find it. All right. Two seconds. No dead air. Time to play some jazz. Okay. Oh, whoa. See? Told you. Two seconds. Two seconds, literally. (laughs) All right. I get to go grocery shopping and pick out any food that I feel like eating. I have a car that I get to drive wherever I feel like driving. My body is healthy and I'm able to move my body at the gym. I get to live in a house with big windows facing the sun and I can feel it on my face. I get to wash the dishes. I have dishes that I'm able to use. (laughs) I get to sleep in a comfy bed in a safe, warm house. So yeah, that was kind of like- get to go groceries. Kind of like Alex, is that when you talking about what Alex said reminded me of that. Yeah. Like just always looking at the positive. There was one time I went to the grocery store and they didn't have my very, very specific brand of something. And I got irritated about it. Mm-hmm. And I said, oh, I'm going to have to go to another store and get this. And I went to another store and got it. And I said, wow, I live in a country that's so good when we don't have a very, very strangely specific product brand. All I have to do is get in a car and spend four minutes to go to another store full of food where whole countries don't have enough to eat, let alone uh, to go get a, yeah. an oddly specific thing four mm-hmm. minutes away. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, yeah, things are really cool. Things are great. Because we get so into ourselves and like. We compare ourselves to like somebody else that's above us always. We never compare ourselves to the people below and we never compare ourselves to ourself. Mm -hmm. And I think that's the biggest thing is if you compare yourself to yourself and see what you're doing, the impact you're making, 
you can have a lot more positivity towards where you're going. And that helps. Yeah. So that's something I wanted to start trying to do is instead of saying I've got to do something, say like I've get I get I to get do to, it. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, especially since, I mean, and then from my point of view, I really like that too. So it's not even just you trying to convince yourself. It helps me know that all the work that I put in, like I'm going to be at, have to be at the shop in a second, um, actually gets to giving you something that you appreciate because you being able to have this job and start it is been a difficult financial load, but at the same time has been able to give you so much more of yourself, you give me more of who you really are and you get to be happy more often. Um, but there's stresses included in that, but there's stresses included in jobs. Mm -hmm. And so it's it's good for the people around you that help support you to know that you get to do this type of work, even though it's really hard and, you, and there's not a huge payout yet. And um, that gratefulness goes a long way. And that that's for anyone out there who has a partner and it doesn't have to be something like, you get to stay at home and do your own job. It could be anything like they got to take the groceries in because I couldn't carry them all in in one load or they took the trash out again. You know, even though I had to remind them, you know, they still took all of it out. And I'm really grateful because imagine you're by yourself. You can't tell the air to go take out your trash. You have to take it yourself. So like to be grateful for those <laughs> things and appreciate um, and just to to say it out loud for yourself and keep you moving on would also help your partner know that Definitely. okay i feel better that i am helping this and that they are grateful for it so it's just gonna make your every day better like example I, I i don't like driving i don't like being in the car it makes me anxious and stuff but now like with this like i'm just gonna try to have a mental switch where it's just like like i get to be in a car and i get to travel and i get to be able to you know get my daughter safely and and, and you know just think of it more positive instead of just always anxious and like uh people and driving and negative blah <laughs> mm -hmm. but yeah i think it was great i was gonna look at a comment but we'll do that next episode because this was a good yeah, one this is good um well jazzy time now jazzy hour Woo! jazzy hour with stunden yeah so stunden glass shout out check out uh their products and you could use code boo for 15 percent off which is a which fun, is, great way to support me. Off, actually. Yes. And yeah, <laughs> I'm going to get jazzy for y'all. Yeah. And it's so funny too. Um, she got a comment earlier. And if you watch some of her socials and they were thinking a thousand views gets you like real money. And I was like, whoa, a thousand views doesn't get you anything. <laughs> yeah. A and, lot of people don't realize how it works on social media and stuff. Cheers. Keep going though, yeah. I like. Ooh. But what is it? You have to be part of a program, so you have to have so many followers anyway, and then the views start making money. But even a thousand views only makes what two to four cents. You're saying on average, but that also depends on the ad revenue. If people actually watch the ads, so that's saying kind of like an average number. And if you had a hundred thousand <coughs> views, that's like two bucks. <coughs> Off a hundred thousand view video, <laughs> yeah. And so the revenue is—it's not enough for anything. And that's just bills. like once you can get past all the guidelines to get accepted, like yeah, like you said, you have to have a certain amount of followers. You have to make a hundred thousand views, and then like consistently, consistently within a time frame. Yeah, and then your video has to be at least a minute. Yeah, it has if to it's be fifty-nine certain... seconds. You don't get jack yeah it's not even like they pay you half for 59 seconds versus 60 it's like they pay you nothing so that's the thing i mean there's a lot of guidelines and they don't push your money. videos out whenever it's a minute over a minute long and you're in the program and yeah because they have to pay so the algorithm doesn't want you to get as many views for that unless it's like a product video and speaking of product videos that's one of the things we just started so you can get monetized so we can bring more content out because it, it is very difficult to do this on scale with no monetary support not that we don't appreciate all the support we get from people and really do hope that these chats and seeing us just be normal folks yeah going through our own things me going through obesity and and working a lot and her going through traumas and anxiety and just working on ourselves yeah just being dorks mm. and, and people you're realizing you can be dorks 
You too can be a dork. You can be a dork. With our powers combined, we're one fully functional dork. Yay, what a great episode. I feel good. Nice. I feel good now. I feel a lot better than like an hour ago or yeah. whatever. She was struggling this morning trying to think and she's going through the videos. It's like, but I have to be captivating at the beginning and then I have to be nice and then I have to be. Yeah, a, a weird thing that's everywhere. happening recently, f- talking in front of you on camera. Well, we're doing it right now. But on my phone, for some reason, she's like blanks and she like shuts it off. She like gets too anxious. She's like, I'm just down. done. I'm just done. And I'll be like in the middle of saying something. She'll be like, I can't do this. Because <laughs> in my, I don't know what <laughs> is happening. If it's like in my head, I want it to go a certain way and be perfect. And so when it's n- not or something, I, I'm i like, or if like you say something, but I want you to say it a certain way. And like you've said it a certain way before. And then like. It, it it's not translating how I want you to, then I get like, I want to stop you, but then I feel bad when I do, and then it's a whole disaster. And she just shuts it off, and then she goes and does it elsewhere. But so that's, that's one of the thing things. I'm working on. That's one of the things where it's like, we're not perfect, we're not the best, we obviously <laughs> don't get monetized a huge amount to do this. I guess we can talk about this comment now, because now it's kind of relatable. Oh, jeez. Is it? But are we like over our time limit? Would We could just do another episode. Oh, Do you want me to wait? Probably. We'll just do another one. After okay, I'm well, back stay tuned. Now stay you're going to be suspicious episode, about it. Suspicious? Oh, what is the word? It's not suspicious. It's a... Uh, suspenseful. Sus- suspenseful. It's... What would it... Is there a word you're for if you're... In suspense. You're in suspense. Oh, I'm suspended. Oh, I'm wearing suspenders. <laughs> 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 okay, guys, put on your suspenders and guffa. <laughs> suspenders. Oh, guffa. Guffa. See you next time. See you later. Stay positive. You got this. Maybe. Maybe you <laughs> no, do. No, you do. Oh, okay, you do. I guess. <laughs>